Where is this guy? Brad? What? What? What are you doing? You can't take it anymore. The son of a... Goddamn, Rick. It's always peeping. It's always shitting everywhere. Beep, beep, beep. Wake up. Feed me. Can't, right? Tell nobody about this. No one will ever know. Hey, I'm Brad Bennett with Mobile Syrup, and let's find our way back to the beginning. This week, I spent some time raising my new virtual son, Rick, and a few other versions of him that we're not gonna talk about. When I first got my hands on this new Tamagotchi Pix, my first reaction was, this looks like a roll of bubble gum. And my second one was just a healthy dose of nostalgia. Brought me back to recess and elementary school, playing with my friends and innocently raising Tamagotchis with my sister and my cousins. But moving on from that, I started fresh this year with this new thick brick of a virtual pet. And sadly, I don't think I'm gonna be looking back as fondly on this Tamagotchi experience as the one I had when I was eight. If you've played with the Tamagotchi before, the core concept of raising your own cute little virtual pet is still here and plays out pretty similar to how you likely remember. Your Tamagotchi gets hungry, you feed it. It gets sick, you feed it medicine. It's bored, you play a game, and so on. You raise it until it dies and you have a new Tamagotchi to replace it. This formula is pretty much unchanged, so this is a positive for sure. Beyond that though, the new 64-bit graphics are probably my favorite part of the picks. The screen could be a little larger, but for the most part, it's a luxury compared to the old black and white 8-bit version. The colors are bright and vibrant, and they add a huge amount of charm to this little virtual pet. Every location you go to is a fun detailed set with lots of colors, and all the little items are cute Tamagotchi designs with like eyes and, and bills, and you can't really understate how much charm this adds to the game, but everyone I showed it to loved the new art more than anything else. This style is also on the Tamagotchi on, but the Pix has a few new career and design elements that I think really take advantage of the new game engine. And that's about it for the pros. So unfortunately, we've got to talk about the Tamagotchi Pix's shortcomings. 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 <laughs> shortcomings. We'll start with the camera. So usually I'm a big champion of the fact that the camera doesn't make the photographer. I, I actually have an example. I took this picture when I was like 16 on an iPhone 4S and it might not be the most original photo, but it's blown up to this size and it looks sweet. So up until now, I was really, really believing that any photo could take, or any camera could take a good photo. I was wrong because this camera is trash. Maybe, maybe, maybe you could get some edgy lo-fi shots from it, but even if you do, there's no way to get the photos off the device to share them, so it's, it's not really even worth using outside of its gameplay applications, of which there are three. So the first one is called Explore, which you can use your Tamagotchi in the camera to sort of look around and meet new Tamagotchi hiding in your environment. It's kind of like a Pokemon Go-like minigame. Beyond that, you can take pictures of colorful items to cook different meals, and you can use the camera to scan colors and apply those colors to items in your Tama house. To be honest, the Explore game gets boring really fast. You play it about three times, and since it doesn't really seem to matter what the camera's actually looking at, you just point the camera out, wait like three seconds, and a Tamagotchi will appear for you to take a picture of. Game over play again. The color picking games are a little more inventive, but they don't always work since the camera sucks so much. It just sometimes has a hard time pulling the colors out you wanted unless the lighting is impeccable. <sighs> Man, I don't even want to get started on this because it's really annoying, but beyond that, the weird touch capacitive buttons on the front suck a lot. Usually Tamagotchis have these little rubber nub buttons, but these ones are just little touch zones. So it allows you to swipe across them up, down, side to side for sort of another control scheme, which is helpful since there's only three buttons, but they often misread your presses. So if you want to accept something, you'll hit the button and it will often deny it instead, which like I said, it's just super frustrating. You know, if your Tamagotchi poops, you gotta clean it up now. And you don't have time to fuck around with the buttons. Still, even with these issues, it's a Tamagotchi. So like I wrote in my written review, which is linked below, you raise it, forget about it, it dies, rinse and repeat. If you know this system won't work for you, don't get the Tamagotchi picks. If you're a diehard Tamagotchi fan, I'm sure you're gonna love it. Unfortunately, it wasn't for me, but at least, at least I'll always have that summer. <laughs>